Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Myself Shubham, currently studying in MD second year in University of Perpetual Help in Philippines. So in today's video, we are going to see, like I'll share my experience that I had when I was first time going to the dissection hall in Philippines, OB University of Perpetual Help. Mein. So it was back in uh, early 2020 when I was in MD first year for the first time. I went to the dissection hall in uh, Perpetual. So the, my experience was like first time I went and uh, first thing that you'll notice is obviously the smell because a lot of cadavers and the condition of the cadavers if you see was quite fresh because uh, the cadavers that we are given in that cadavers the June batch like six months prior to us the June batch. Uh, they had done dissection of uh, brain so only the brain part was dissected but we are given to dissect the abdomen part so it was totally fresh so and the thing is there are only 10 to 12 students per cadaver okay and the total group like in the dissection hall there are around 8 to 10 cadavers and per cadaver it was only 8 to 10 students that's it and the thing is after like per 8 cadavers were eight groups after this eight groups were done there were another eight groups that had to come to the same cadavers okay and we are the first group we were there so you can see the clip and in this clip you can see uh, like we were doing the dissection of the abdomen using the dissection tools like uh, forceps uh, scapels and uh, the blades and the scissors and the thing was we were asked the previous two three days itself to uh, Ma'am had shared a video on YouTube, we were asked to see and how the uh, dissection actually works and how it goes on and so we had prior knowledge before coming to the dissection hall that like this the things work in a dissection hall and the things that are required in a dissection hall are mainly you need a mask and the second thing is you need a blue Efron okay and then what you need are dissection tools okay you can buy the buy the dissection tool before going to philippines in india also or you can get it in philippines also it's not a big deal uh, like it's not much expensive in philippines okay so in the dissection hall it consists of uh, scissors needles and forceps scal scalpels and all these things so basically you will need all of these when you are going for dissection and if you see the time okay we were given around 40 to 45 minutes per group per cadaver so the time was not that sufficient because per group we had 10 to 12 students but still we had enough time to go through the cadaver like the dissection was mainly done if you see by three or four four five students but the thing was we were able to see everything and so it was not is it was not a much big deal of a problem like in some groups there are five six students so you can also shift to that group uh, if this situation arises and then if you see uh, the hygiene of the room and the dissection hall so it was totally hygienic and it was well maintained if you see uh, like the dissection hall i'm talking about is which was in university of perpetual health because that is the college i'm studying in and i had my first experience with the cadaver in university of perpetual health so i can say only about that so it was very hygienic and i don't think you'll face a lot of problems about hygiene there and the cadavers were also fresh so it was not a big deal but the thing is uh, we, we we went only one time okay one time for the dissection hall for dissection and after that we were supposed to go another time okay but the thing was covid struck and we were shifted to online classes and no offline classes were there for around it's been one more than one year that we had uh, we didn't have any offline class all our online class online exams are going on so the thing is that was the only first and last experience of me in the dissection hall so it has means affected a lot to us because yeah we missed a lot of dissection classes and histolabs and all that stuff in first year now I'm in second year but the thing is this was what the experience I had when I went to the dissection hall for the first time basically you can say like uh, if there won't be any covid normal students for so normal MD first year students will be having two to three dissection classes uh, uh, and you will be going to the dissection halls 
for dissection of abdomen, brain, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, all that stuff. And it won't be anything like if you're thinking that there is no clinical and all that stuff, it isn't the thing. You will be having some clinicals like this. Uh, but the thing is there won't be much like for us we suffered a lot because it was up to the online classes and in online classes we can do like dissection and all that stuff we can only see the videos on youtube or the videos that a uh, ma'am shared to us uh, we can see that and go through like how this works and all that stuff but yeah it was a bit of like uh, loss you, you can say uh, on educational ground but still it was a very good experience so hopefully in this august or september those who are fully vaccinated they can go to philippines and our offline classes would resume so i can get you more content of inside the college campus and all that stuff so hopefully it will take two months but still uh, if you do like the video uh, do like comment and subscribe to the channel and do stay tuned for more such videos thank you